Welcome back to another video. Another weekend and another show out with Harry. So we are at on the equestrian centre today for the UK Ponies and Horses Spring Classic Show. <laughs> We're here to do the uh, Amateur Riders Royal International Qualifier. But yeah, it's nice and sunny. We don't usually, we haven't been able to complain about the sunshine lately. So yes, it is extremely sunny. So I'm just going to take his bandages off and start getting him ready. Time to tie this partition up. Hold that one. <laughs> you know, doing everything you need to have to step on there, aren't you? to do the Amateur Riders Royal International Qualifiers. We've got plenty of time. The last show we went out to to do this, uh, we basically turned up to the venue when they were just doing the last class and the championship for us. So we had no time to prepare or get ready or anything. So we've got plenty of time today um, to get them all dressed up sparkly and ready but we haven't got Lewis today Lewis has stayed at home with my older two boys Willow's having some repairs done to his stable so he doesn't like noisy things happening so whilst we've got him at the show here they're doing some maintenance on his stable so Lewis has stayed with them so I actually don't know what footage we will get today because when I do my class uh, he just licked my hand when I do my class Steve has to come in the ring to groom for me so he will try and video some of course before and after he has to come in the ring but um, we will see what we can get done but yeah so I am just gonna start sprucing him up and uh, getting him ready so at least he's all sorted so then I've only got to worry about myself. know where to put you because of the sun. We haven't had this trouble all year but yeah he is all dressed up and ready. This is what he does in the box. He's just eager when we get places to get going so I haven't bothered too much with his feet because let's try this way. We are in one of the furthest rings away. They put us down in the working hunter rings. No jumps. I've cleared up jumps but it's ages to walk to and 
the walkway to there is absolutely flooded. So his feet are going to be disgusting by the time we even get to the ring. So I'm just getting dressed, but you can see the clouds has come in and it's suddenly gone all dark. Let's uh, see if we can get through this show without getting absolutely soaking wet. So I'm now dressed and ready to go. Why is that sock sitting straight? Yeah, I'm dressed, ready to go. He is all shined up and everything. We just got to tack him up. I'm just trying to work out when to head down to the ring because it's gone incredibly dark and we're down one of the bottom rings now that has no undercover place to get out the rain. So I don't want to be too early, but of course I don't want to be late. And it's an extremely long walk to get down there to see what class they're on. Um, so yeah, so we're just hanging around for a minute. I will tack him up now and uh, I think we would be better being down the ring so we don't miss the class, but I don't want to be too early. This is a problem. Um, there is a tannoy system, but you can't hear it down here from where we're parked. So it's a hard one. It's, a, it's always a hard thing to know what to do best in this weather at least if it was sunny like it was a minute ago don't mind hanging down by the rings waiting then do you but yeah we're all ready as i say i don't know what footage we are gonna get um because as i say lewis isn't here with us he usually does all the filming um so the steeple film the go rounds and everything but of course as soon as he comes into the ring to when we strip and do our confirmation he can't film in the ring from there so we will see but yeah another show out for Wood, eh? he's been feeling really good this week we've done a lot of just transitions getting him to be more off my leg sitting on his hocks and everything and he's been doing really well with that so we just see again it's um the amateur class that i'm doing today i always find really hard because it's Full of all different breeds, Felsdales, Highlands, um, A's, B's, C's, and D's, and they all go so differently. So, where the Welsh D is quite speedy and fast, I do need to collect him and make him bounce more instead of go out more, but he's a lot faster still than the likes of the Highlands. So, it's just hard when you're going around to try and try and make it look neat and you're not forever circling or holding them back or trying to overtake I don't like doing that in front of the judge I just think it looks messy so yes trying to keep the same pace without losing his rhythm is really hard but yeah I'm going to tack him up now and we'll take a steady stroll down to the ring
it's actually Monday now. It was so dark when we got back last night. We just put him to bed and went home. So um, yesterday, what can I say? He, he felt a lot better. Um, don't forget, we don't have a school. We just got the Bartchip Arena where when it rains or when it's frosty, we can't use it. Um, and then the hacking has just been so wet that we can't do much out there anyway. So um, he felt better this show. Um, warming them up outside, they were putting the working hunter jumps away, which kept banging about. And he had a few moments there um, where he was uh, putting in a few bucks, but um, that's all right. And then we went into the ring and um, I, I thought he felt really well. I haven't seen the footage yet. Of course, by the time I've edited this, then I'll be able to see, I would have seen the footage. But he, he felt better. So that was all good. And, but then the judges comments again, yet again, are just about him being clipped and how when he's got his summer coat, he's gonna be a magnific magnificent color. Um, but it's a hard one because, well, this coming winter, I'm not gonna clip him. I'm gonna rug him up and try and not clip him so he keeps a nice color. But for this year now, what do I do? Every judge is commenting on him being clipped and his colouring. So I don't know whether to hold off from competing him for a couple of months. They are £60 a class before I even put diesel in to go. If they're on a Saturday, Steve needs to take time off of work. So it just makes it extremely expensive. But then on the other hand, I want to get him out, I want to get the ring experience, get him out with others, watching them, seeing what they're doing um, and whether there's something that I need to change. Um, so it's good to go out and get the experience, but it's very expensive to go out to keep just having the comment about his colour. The judge did comment that he has got the most amazing trot, but his canter needs some work, which we know that. I can't canter all winter. I've barely been able to canter because the ground is just so wet. It has been confirmed now that um, this is one of the wettest years on record. So we don't usually get it as bad as this. So I, I've barely been able to canter all winter. So I'm not surprised by the comment of his canter needs work. But there is another show this coming weekend that we can do. Um, and I don't know yet whether we're going to go to it. As I say, it's, on one hand, I want to go for the experience. On the other hand, I don't want to go if they're just going to mark me down for his colouring, for his coat. Um, so I don't know what to do. But yeah, I will keep pushing on regardless, whatever, getting him training at home, getting him feeling better, really try and get this coat out. But the weather's meant to go cold again this weekend it's warmed up really nice had a couple of dry days fields are starting to dry out in patches it's not near the gateway nowhere near there ready on the gateway yet but yeah now it's meant to go cold again and rain again so this weather this is the hard part about doing these royal international qualifiers that are so early on in the year um the struggle that I had because of not having a school um, but yes I don't know I don't know whether we're gonna go to this weekend show we will have to wait and see if you like what you see and want to follow along with our journey don't forget to like and subscribe because there will be a hell of a lot of shows coming up soon for all three of the horses so yes I'll see you in the next one bye